Hey there Aries, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. And today we are looking at the Angel Wisdom Cards and the Arcanum Tarot. We're going to do a reading for the next week to 10 days for you, see what's going on. Um, I think we'll start out first with the Angel Wisdom Cards and see if we can get a feel for what's going on with you guys in the next little bit of time. I hope everybody's doing okay. Again, this is for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Cross Watchers. Welcome. Let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. It looks like we have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands and also the Five of Cups inverted. So we're talking about new starts, new beginnings, um, energy to move forward right now. So the Knight of Wands is saying restlessness. Um, there might be some things that need your immediate attention here and saying trust your instincts, stay focused. This is about a passionate relationship, things going on and moving forward. So events that might require that. Then you have the page in the center of it all. The page is saying enthusiastic, optimistic, creative and impatient. This is the guy that calls out because he's so excited. So it's very much good news. Um, good opportunities, good messages being back and forth, allowing creativity to soar. It says this is a very, very high level creative time for you and doing things that fuel your passion. So doing something and finishing it through is also important, but it's that um, impetus of creativity, this just general overall excitement right now. Um, I think of the wands and I think of trees when the leaves are first coming back in spring, that kind of energy, the, the new buds and new starting Five of Cups in reverse. So in reverse, the caution is to um, not be focusing on the negative. And this is saying there might be disappointed in grief and sorrow on things that you um, are having trouble accepting. So upright, this is reading, focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated. Forgiveness of self and others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessings. It's thrown in reverse. When things are in reverse, I give it extra attention, extra credence. Sometimes it can also indicate a delay. Um, it can sometimes indicate a diminishing also of this. So this is about grief and grieving and real loss. And this is asking you to um, gather yourself together after a period of mourning, allow for that grief to be in place, but gather yourself together and to move forward to carry on so the grief and the past doesn't swallow up your energy. So you can honor that past, but live in the present and move more joyfully. So these are the surrounding elements going on for you right now. Let's see what the Arcanum has to say as far as what's coming at you in the next week or so. Let's see what's going on with that. Yeah, lots of new energy. But see, oh, we have this Five of Pentacles here. So starting out the week, you have a Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is upright about separation, about feeling lack, feeling poverty. Um, just kind of feeling out of sorts and out of touch with your community, just very, very separate. Um, I think of the fairy tale, the poor little match girl, that kind of thing, kind of a sense of abandonment or loss. It's in reverse. Now, again, this one came in reverse too. So whatever this energy is, seems to be shifting. So let's see what else is coming up this week. The page of swords, eight of pentacles, four of swords, the moon, and six of cups. All right. So this is what we're looking at. So it looks like you have this moment here where there's grieving and loss and kind of a, a new understanding of that. Page of Swords. Now this can be somebody that's a little bit um, overexcited, overambitious, wanting to go out and conquer the world, but not necessarily strong enough to carry it through or kind of sometimes mistakes of ignorance. This isn't mistakes of harshness and meanness. Sometimes it's words said that... Um, might be hurtful, but sometimes are unintentional. It's not looking where you're going sometimes. It's still looking towards the past. So be aware of this. Take this as caution. Um, it could be somebody around you that still has that kind of energy. And right now you're being asked to lift your energy lighter. This is where you want to be. This is kind of the prevention. The Eight of Pentacles, this is putting in the work every day, um, becoming a master at something, doing the apprenticeship, doing what it takes to do something over and over and over and level up that skill and that gift and that talent and the ability to do it quite well. When it's reversed, 
it's saying that you might feel like your work is drudgery and there isn't joy in there. So really evaluate why you're doing what you're doing and how can you bring joy back into your work area or into the talent that you used to enjoy so well. Four of Swords calls you to understand that um, you need rest, you need reprieve, you need to gather your thoughts together again. Gathering the thoughts together, but this is saying take some time for renewal. So don't just be alone in your grief or alone in separateness. I hope you can see that one. Yeah, you can see this. This is a time for actually renewing. So let this period of time serve you best. Go within. This is calling you to intuition and facing fears. Um, the moon is about cycles, um, oppositions in fears. Sometimes you have the, the animal side versus the domestic side, but this is really asking you to move forward. In this sense, um, the moon has just enough illumination that you can keep moving forward. And it might not be that everything is all illuminated at once for you. So be aware of this. If there is time to move forward, do so. It's it's far better to get beyond the gates here, these gates of fear, than to let them loom over you. So find your way through that. Renew your strength here. And then the Six of Cups in reverse. A little bit of um, a little bit of a fantasy about sweet nostalgia, a specific period of time. Um, that time has now passed, and if you're lingering there, you're kind of stuck there, but it, it has passed. Whatever this sweetness was has passed, but it also asks you to remember what brought joy. There was um, innocence in giving back and forth, evenness, no strings attached type of giving, just joyfulness and playfulness and really seeing the world through the child's eyes. This is what it's calling you to do. You're being asked to trust again, it seems, on a very, very big scale. I think that was in reverse originally. All right, let's take a look. We're going to go now into the Enchanted Forest, and we're going to see what's going on there. Maybe there will be some words of advice. Because right now it looks like coming at you, you're still going to be moving out of this funky stage, a little bit out of these funky waters, heading to something better, heading to brighter days, but a grieving period that needs to um, be honored processed, worked through, and then moved forward from, so you don't stay stuck and stagnant in that. It's really a call to being present. Okay. So far we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Wands. So the Two of Challenges The Two of Challenges is about looking at things, assessing things, taking them in. This is actually, I think, the Two of Swords, not the Two of Cups. I misspoke. It's about really comparing where you are at and where you want to be. Typically, it's shown with the woman and she's sitting and she has both the swords crossed. She's not sure which decision to make. This is being at a crossroads in your life. You need to make a decision, seeing who you are, where you've been, and how far you need to go, and really seeing things in a more true light. Um, coming to a certain knowledge of things. You have swords in here in the four, in the page, and here in the five of cups, you have a similar sense of loss, of singleness, of journeying on your own. In fact, it's throughout a lot of this. So the two of challenges is asking you to really look at something, I mean, stare down the barrel of it, really, really take a look and see what's reflecting back at you and is that real and can you own how things are going moving forward. Then you have the Six of Spells in reverse. Now this is the Six of Wands and it's all about victory and it's a minor victory. Sometimes somebody gets a little overexcited about a victory and they forget who helped them achieve this. But the Six of Spells calls you to remember this is a great time. Inspiration is going to help you bring success, move you forward, give you rewards and you will have victory in this. Don't forget the people who got you there don't forget to ask for help and support or that it's even available. This card here, you're kind of feeling outside of it, but there is help available and there's victory to be had. So that's an important thing for you to remember. Okay, you have the Child of Spells and the Forge. So in this deck, the spells again are the wands. This is the page. This is somebody moving forward. Now you have the page of wands here too. Same thing. Same kind of energy, similar look even. This is a young, um, youthful energy, 
excitement about trying something new, learning something new, wanting to call out, reach out, wanting to have magic back in your life again, wanting to have that fiery energy around you and enjoy that and bring that forward. This is calling you to do that. This is you calling out to others. Um, moving through, moving, moving through the watery, emotional, lonely energy that you've been keeping a lot of. Then you have the Forge. This is the Temperance card. This is when you've been through the Refiner's Fire and things have been so hot, 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 intense and you've been pushed so hard, then it's cooled off and hardened because you're stronger after coming through this. So this is the lesson here. You're getting tempered. You've been through this lesson and now it's time to continue forward, continue growing. All right, we're going to look in the Psychic Oracle and see if there's any other this is Psychic Tarot, actually. Any heads up notes to give you moving forward? Yeah, I would. I really would say just allow for that grief to pass through. It doesn't mean ignore it, but allow yourself to move beyond it. This card really is. Oh my gosh. Moving on. Okay, guys, what did I just say? This is what this is all about for you right now. It's how to move on and move into the future. And you see that that old leaves and the cold winter has ended and now there's new leaves of spring coming on. It is time for you to move on and know that you're supported and loved. And just because you're grieving a loss doesn't mean you've forgotten it. It means it's time to honor the past and carry on with the present. All right, that's what I've got for you, Aries. Like, subscribe, come again, tell a friend. Bye-bye.